Welcome to the CA Advanced Authentication Mainframe video. In this video, we will discuss multi-factor authentication for CA ACF2. Multi-factor authentication is a method of computer access control in which a user is only granted access after successfully presenting several separate pieces of evidence to an authentication mechanism, typically at least two of the following categories. Something you know, such as a password or PIN, something you have, such as a smart card, CAC, PIV, or RSA token, something you are, using biometrics. A good example from everyday life is the withdrawing of money from a cash machine. Only the correct combination of a bank card, something that the user possesses, and a PIN, something that the user knows, allows the transaction to be carried out. There has been a growing recognition in the industry and among security practitioners that mainframes are subject to attacks in ways never originally contemplated. Adding multi-factor authentication capabilities is therefore critical to our customers and the wider mainframe ecosystem in which we participate. Multi-factor authentication allows increased diligence in verifying the identity of users who seek access to ZOS. Mainframe advanced authentication capabilities are designed to prevent data breaches and address compliance requirements. The CA Advanced Authentication Mainframe offering leverages the existing enterprise security infrastructure, delivering compliant two-factor authentication for privileged users or all users on the mainframe, automatically updating controls, and addressing regulatory requirements for two-factor authentication. Advanced Authentication Mainframe is available to CA ACF2 at no additional cost to licensed customers. Administrators can require users to log on to ZOS applications by using RSA Secure ID credentials instead of a password password phrase. This feature enables a consistent two-factor authentication approach across mainframe and enterprise infrastructures. Our user opens a 3270 session to mainframe and logs in with the user ID and RSA token code and or associated PIN. At logon, the ESM will determine if the user is in RSA rule. As architected, everything runs on ZOS up to the point where we actually call the RSA server. When set up and active, users are required to enter the RSA token value, which changes frequently, making it far more difficult for cyber criminals to gain access. In this example, this rule requires all security administrators in the SecAdmin1 role to sign on by using their RSA credentials. Because the rule is checked during system entry validation, the rule must be resident. The token is not the only authentication requirement, of course. Two factors are involved in RSA authentication. The 4 to 8 digit PIN, which is something you know, and the 6 to 8 digit token value, which is something you have. The RSA passcode that you enter is not complete unless it contains both the PIN and token. This example shows how to log on to TSO with ACF2 login ID and RSA credentials, 7-digit PIN plus 6-digit soft token. As mentioned before, note that we allow two-factor authentication for all users or a subset of users. Note that if factor service disruptions occur, CA ACF2 falls back to regular password, password phrase authentication. To map an RSA user ID to a CA ACF2 login ID, use a CA ACF2 resource rule to specify the login ID field that contains the RSA user ID. In this example, login ID RSA user is defined to RSA as user2. Administrators can require users to log on to ZOS applications through CA Privilege Access Manager by using a common access card or a personal identity verification smart card followed by a CA ACF2 password password phrase. A smart card is a credit card sized card that has an embedded microchip and one or more certificates. The information on the card identifies the user and the certificate also includes the user's private key used for asymmetric cryptography. For more detailed information about CA Advanced Authentication Mainframe, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning paths 